All right, everybody. Today we have hopefully one of the interesting stories because none of the Fontaine stories from the characters, none of the stories were actually interesting. And I really hope that we will get at least one. If not Chioris, then for sure, for sure Arlequinos, right? So yeah, we will begin with the story. After I do dailies and spend my resin, um, one other interesting thing. As you can see, I have only two out of three keys. And <laughs> for the last month, I didn't even collect, not even one. I didn't collect a single key. So yeah, we will collect the key and we will do dailies. And then we will spend resin or I'm just going to, ah, I can convert it afterwards. It doesn't matter. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. Nice to see you. Um, it seems that we have few easy commissions. I mean, I didn't have that much time to look at the names of the commissions, but I think that everything is about the battle and these few simple ones. So that's a good thing. We'll finish them much faster than usually we do when we have something to just talk too much with other characters or the NPCs, however you want to say that for them. Welcome Naruto. Today we are doing Chiori's story quest, only Chiori's story quest, nothing else. But tomorrow we are possibly going to do Spiral Abyss. We didn't have stream for a long time, I couldn't make it for the last Spiral Abyss, unfortunately. But hey, we will do it possibly tomorrow. I'm not going to guarantee that it is going to be tomorrow, but possibly it is going to be. Um, well, let me s Come on, why is this not working? C6 Novelette doing daily commissions. <laughs> it's too easy with him, it's too easy. We will need some kind of, let's say it's a nickname to call you by because creative is your friend, well it's kinda long. <laughs> how, are you, how are you doing guys today? Oh, the slimes. I thought that something in the water is going to be again. Why is Ganyu shooting into the water? It doesn't make sense. It's going to throw the slime into the water. Yeah, I saw the animated video. It's so cool. I got goosebumps. Man. I hope that they will do it more often because I just told my friend that if we got for absolutely every character if we got the animated video before they come up we will actually be introduced into their story I mean just shortly introduced what happened before we encountered them in the real world um, and I think that, I think that many people would decide to pull for them just because of that short animated version and the story before we met them. I think that it would definitely boost the pulling sessions from absolutely everyone. So... It's it's a good idea if they keep on doing that. I think that there's going to be 
much more people who are going to pull for Alekino just because of the animated video. I mean, it's only 7 minutes, but hey, in those 7 minutes we found out so much, so much. <laughs> well, you were wrong. <laughs> and I'm happy that you are wrong with that decision. Um, 2 million Mora, not bad. Tell me, what are we going to... What are we going to farm today? Are we going for some talents on the characters or we are going for maybe artifacts? <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was so good. It was so good. My friend also asked me if I was faking it, but no man, it it, it just became I know it's so hard to win 50-50 sometimes and it's even harder to get them earlier and I just got them 4 constellations in 110 110 pulls for 4 constellations on my novelette 3 50-50s won in 110 pulls I mean... I mean, come on you can't say that that's impossible even. Yeah, he said Mona. I mean, I made the short versions of the stream. I hope you liked them if you saw it. Um, yeah, I, I think that the short version, the seven minute one is actually cool because I just put only the best moments from the pulling session, so yeah. Chlorind, well, she might actually be in the rank of the Navia in terms of damage, I think. I think that Navia and Chlorind are going to be on the same level, let's say. I watched the video from one guy and he said that Arlequino is going to be even stronger than Navillette. Hmm, we will see, we will see. What are we going to farm today? Come on, tell me. Which artifacts? These ones, I don't have anyone to put them on. And there's nothing else except the Navillette's ones. I can put these ones. I think this is on my Shinkcho and I have this one on like six characters that I need. Um, this is Hazo and Kave only. So yeah, what are we going to farm? These ones, I'm, I'm kind of finished with these ones. I mean, not really, but close, 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 close. I need only a few more pieces and if I'm lucky to get some better ones, of course. Mm. Yeah, I, I thought that I will put Tenacity on my Zhongli finally. But I really do not want to put it on Zhongli. I want to make him half DPS, half support. I'm not really sure. Not really sure. Um, and yeah, by the way... <laughs> Um, in terms of the Hunter set and the Heart of Depth, I did the calculation. It's the same. It's absolutely the same on Nivellet. Absolutely the same. Okay? Uh, well, seems that you cannot decide which artifacts I'm going to farm, so we are going for Nivellet. If I don't get double crit with my second, with my second condensed resin, then yeah, we are moving on. And it doesn't matter, let's just get the friendship for my gumming. <laughs> HP effect like Arlequino. So she's going to have the bond of life. Ah. 
it's going to be interesting to see how is it actually all working out. Because we only had that from the enemies, right? And now it's going to be maybe a little bit strange on the characters. When you are on purpose losing your HP or just to say taking your HP down. Give me HP. Not like that. I don't need double defense. I need double crit. 35, 145. Why? Why is it so low? You don't have weapon, right? You don't have weapon. Um, I have bad artifacts, okay? This is, this is terrible. Why is it only plus 33% crit damage? Because he needs HP, right? Yeah. Settles down. I mean, maybe it is going to be on more characters, except Arlequino, you know? Maybe she's going to be the unique one, maybe we are going to get few more with the... with the... Bond of Life effect. We will see. Yeah, I got defense with triple defense. Come on, I don't need it. I need HP up there. Ah, no, not like that. Okay, Furina needs more crit damage than HP. I did the testing on her as well, and she needs more HP, uh, more crit damage than HP. But Navilet needs more. Uh, he needs more oh, HP sure. than stupid crit damage. Be sanctified. Yeah, Raiden piece definitely, but I need onset goblet to get this piece working on my Raiden. And just that you know, I'm dropping so many artifacts. Yes, thank you, finally. Ah, um, no. And I don't need Hunter set on absolutely anyone else, so I think that I will... I will probably drop all my Hunter set artifacts, except the ones that I will keep on my Novelet. And the reason why I'm switching back to Hunter set is that because it's much easier to build the Novelette with the Hunter set, but it's absolutely the same damage when it comes to Hunter set and when it comes to the... Why HP Goblet? And when it comes to Heart of Depth. So absolutely the same damage, it's just much easier to get more damage, okay? So everything else is the same. You will have more crit rate more easily and you can get much more crit damage and you will have more HP but the boost from the set the heart of depth has actually better boost but in the end give me hydro you stupid but it's much easier to collect with Hunter, so yeah, that's the only reason, nothing else. Nice, you didn't crit. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm just gaining the... I can do this solo navelet, but let's boost the damage a little bit, you know. I'm getting only the... Friendship level, you see. Gumming is the only one who doesn't have the friendship at level 10. Everyone else are at level 10. Why? <laughs> Why does this even exist? Oh. 
that's just so unfair. They should remove the flat the flat stats on the artifacts. It's kinda stupid with the flat stats, you know. Easy. Just just if you crit few more times it's going to be even faster. <laughs> Uh, no, I need HP, please. HP with double crit, that's the only piece that is absolutely terrible on my Furina. I think that's the only one that I'm missing. No, 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 no. The wrong one. This one is terrible, okay, I don't have good goblets. Um, I need crit rate circlet, yes. Or maybe crit damage circlet with 25% crit rate, why not? I'm, I'm not going to complain, but time's beckoning. And done. Is that 68k without any boost? Wow. Uh, I said HP. Maybe to get even 50 crit value piece, who knows. Illusion shattered. No touching for red lapis. And coming. Happy 55k. <laughs> 47k. And I, I'm missing artifacts on him, so he he is actually good four star character. Okay, Yanfei and Gaming are actually good four star DPSs. I mean, in terms of the pyro. I'm not going to count all the... Come on, why why attack? I'm not going to count down all the DPS's from the 4 stars. But hey, uh, luck is wrong. Well, it's not wrong, it's just that... This is, this is even good! You should have seen me last few days. I didn't even get a single crit in the substat single crit in the substat for three days i didn't get it okay i didn't get it and even when i got one it didn't roll it didn't roll into crit so yeah th this is actually good this is actually good a and yeah just just what i was talking about you see you see nothing into crit uh disgusting okay please crit rate uh, I mean it's going to be possibly better than the one I have at the moment I think only one level and it's level 7 to level 17 wow come on give, give me one more crit one more. Pfft. It's the same. I, I just I just have crit rate on the other one. Uh, where is it? This one. You see? It, it, it's the same. And I have more HP on this one as well. Uh, why? Why, 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 why? Yeah. Uh, as you can see, I'm dropping this piece. I will do the strong box just a moment. Just a moment. I'm going to upgrade all of these ones and then I'm going to do the strong box. Wow. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't know on who. Am I going to use it? I might just drop it, you know. Let's see, he didn't give me crit damage. Not good enough. And this one, the energy recharge. Dropping this piece into this one. Do 
Do my eyes deceive me? How is that even possible? Are we going for emblem or thundering fury? What are we going to put? Are we going for C6 Kaching finally? Dude! No, this is terrible! This is absolutely terrible! Um, emblem or. So basically, Raiden and f five more characters or just Kaching? 3, 2, 1. Don't have that much time to decide. Also, my wonders goblets are absolutely fire. So I think that I will one day, when I get the artifacts on absolutely everyone, that I'm going to just go hammer on the wonders set and just watch the goblets and nothing else. So. Just because you can't decide, I'm going to do this one. Why Geo and why not double crit? This is so terrible. Why would my Kaching want elemental mastery? No! Give me crit rate. Okay. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Alright guys, it's finally time to begin with Chiori's story. And let's navigate to that place. Um, also, I, I need to watch out to use this. Because I just spent all my resin and didn't get anything. Seems like there's another event going on at the Court of Fontaine. Look at that. Roadside signs as far as the eye can see. Yeah, Let's Pyro. see what they're for. Fontaine Fashion Week? Ooh, why don't we go check out some of the shops? Maybe we can pick up some cool new clothes. Maybe. <laughs> is is this really okay? I mean it's not spoiler, you, you can like skip you your quest then, the you know, you but watch everything now and I skip afterwards. No, not at all. It's kind of win-win, you know. I have faith in your work, Miss Chiori. I'm just in shock, that's all. It's always been my dream to wear a Chiori boutique dress for my wedding. I really thought the chance had passed yeah, the, me by. The most hateful line that, that I actually have in the Genshin. Honestly, I hate when she says that. Perhaps it's because of Fontaine Fashion Week. Oh, you've got a point there. Well, once she's done with her customer, we can go and ask her. I'm a woman of my word. If I say I can do something, then it'll be done. The first rule of business is to always keep your promises. Now, yeah. remember to not fold the gown or store it under direct sunlight. I'd recommend only taking it out on the day of the wedding. From the look on your face, I can tell that may be a little difficult for you. Oh, I'll try my best. <laughs> Once he sees me in this, his jaw is gonna drop straight to the floor. Chiori, you're actually okay. in the shop today! Is that really so shocking? It is mine, after all. Anything you're looking for today? A custom design, or perhaps some ready-to-wear outfits for kids? Please give me a new outfit for my traveler. Please, please. We actually wanted to ask about Fontaine Fashion Week. No. No, 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 no. We wanted a new outfit. We want a new outfit. Oh. That. Well, if news of the event has reached your ears, I suppose the Fontaine Apparel Association's advertising efforts have paid off. Yes, Are everyone is maxed out in Dream League. That we can take part in? I have 30 of them maxed out. Fashion week. Just the ones I, I like 
and want to play with. I don't have everyone. It's a fashion extravaganza that only takes place once a year, after all. Will you be showing off some of your designs, too? Of course. All designers at the Court of Fontaine use the week to advertise their brand. If you're lucky, you could even land a large amount of orders as soon as the main show ends. Yes, please, give me a new outfit. It was also at a previous fashion week that our label first took off. Hmm, aren't you pretty much an established name now? People will still buy your clothes even if you don't participate this year, right? Yeah, that's not quite how it works. While many people buy clothes for fit and style, the fashion industry also strongly values a label's artistic vision and creative direction. Why would anyone patronize a label that hasn't even bothered to put out any new designs for the year? In the end, fashion is just a representation of the spirit of the times. People support your brand because they support the vision it represents. Huh. Nice! Okay, That's well so said. That is well said. <laughs> but the <laughs> visions are some, sometimes we'll just disgusting. And Absolutely. stupid. The already been finalized. I'm just waiting for the fabric I mean, in, in the real life, not in Genshin. Ooh, Genshin is actually almost hair? everything the same, so well, yeah. I'd still have a certain partiality to Inazuma made fabrics. I'm not sure when the he's going to get to new touch. outfit. And I really want him to get. Oh, Paimon gets it. That feeling of home. Ugh. Take boat. Like that. Yes. What boat? We're a long way from Inazuma, though. Aren't you concerned that your shipment might get lost or stolen along the way? No need to worry. I've already taken the steps to ensure that it'll arrive safely. I've entrusted the job to Komani Express's most reliable courier. And he failed, and we, we, we are going to... Dear Eater, your shipment's here. Oh, I know it's quite late, okay, so we are not going to need uh, really, to help really anyone sorry. today. Probably. A deep breaths, Kirara, then start again. Or maybe we oh, are. So Kirara's the courier you were talking about. Oh, hey, Traveler and Paimon. She is the only four star on I don't Kirara. have. Um, it has indeed. I'm not going to play the, the invocation. It, it well, just job, it's just it? too long, oh, too long, too Sonoma slow. Always happen to catch me off my game, huh? So, what was the holdup? Sailing delays, bad weather. Yes, Lumine with long hair. No, I agree. Like I agree. I just ran into a uh -huh. bunch of take bot. <laughs> Bandits then. Or treasure hoarders. Oh uh, I don't know. A few run ins on the road aren't usually. He controls Hydro now, so he can just uh, Well, I didn't run <laughs> into anyone exactly. I just got a little lost. A little lost? Keeping you honest as always, I see. Uh, okay, right, we right. will need to help. I was stopped by a group of bandits as soon as I entered Fontaine. They were a little different from the ones I usually run into. I could hear them mumbling about Comania Express. It was obvious they were looking for someone with two tails. So it was a targeted hit? Uh, I got the sense that they were actually targeting Chiori's goods. My fabric shipment? Oh! Yeah, they said that they I need new outfits as, as well. The goods with them. Otherwise, they'd stuff me into my delivery box and toss me into the sea to drown. Oh, are you okay, Kirara? Oh, I'm good. I'm Paimon good. actually is keeping so like off. 10 Mora and that's off. it. It just took me a while that's to all. up. Well, it's not completely out of the ordinary for one of your deliveries. Yeah, who will rob Paimon? I mean, but it still doesn't make sense how you knew it you was just my kick her Alaska. aside, and that's it. <laughs> You've got other deliveries to make in Fontaine, don't you? A little bit harsh, but true. Else that you're keeping from me. <laughs> uh -huh. Um. Well. Perhaps I need to reconsider how many stars to give you in my review. Oh. Uh, you always know how to get me, Chiori. Alright, I'll talk, I'll talk. <clears throat> so, 
I kind of wanted to know why anyone would order a hit on me, so I spent a bit of time investigating. One of the bandits had a loose tongue, which saved me some time. He said that a certain person had commissioned them to intercept Gioria Boutique's delivery. And who might this person be? Uh, Kiori? Why don't we just let this one go? I mean, I didn't really get injured, and you still got Fashion Week to worry about. I appreciate nope. your kindness, Kiora, Not letting it go. But if I don't teach this person a lesson, I doubt they'll stop here. Anyone that dares to mess with one of my friends deserves a stern talking to, and then some. All right. The guy said that the commissioner was someone by the name of Uter. Uter. Now that name rings a bell. Wouldn't you say, Kirara? Well, that's exactly why I didn't want to bring it up to you. So you both know this Uter? Yeah, but Paimon is so old. She just her. have the body of this seven-year-old. And after playing Genshin possible. for three years, oh, they could so actually like change rival. that, you know. A rival is what you they could have changed it. Made Paimon Uter, however, just look older and that she is a little bit bigger choices, or something some else. And her outfit as well is just... It I've doesn't look like anything, it's just the. But I guess he prefers playing dirty. Well, I'm more than happy to In current lunch. moment, they say that Paimon is actually 500 years old, but Wait, she's Kiori, in the body going? of the 7 years old to teach person, a kid, whatever. You must be tired after your long journey. Why don't you rest in my shop for a little while before heading back? Did creative Kiori? leave us? Wait! And she's gone. Oh no, what should we do? You seem concerned. Should we be worried about Chiori? Well, she's always been the type of person to face things head on. But with her fiery temper, I I'm just worried whatever she's about to do will feel negative publicity about her right before the start of Fashion Week. Traveler, Paimon, could you go after her and check out the situation for me? As a formal employee of Komania Express, it wouldn't be appropriate for me to get involved. Sure. Yeah, her scarf does show galaxy, but probably the galaxy of Teyvat, you know. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Uh, well, uh, to be honest, I'm more worried about that Uter guy's safety. What they talk about tonight? Strange. Um, oh, she went there. Paimon, they they say that she could be the last boss in the game. You know that she will transform or something. That she's the descender number one. Any but I don't know. Officer, <sighs> nothing good ever comes out of you addressing me like that. Oh. There's and many outcomes. The and Paimon are here too. Honestly, there's many outcomes. Shabras, we meet again. Are you out on patrol? Well, things have been fine on my end. We were able to bring in a large number of recruits thanks to that film we made. I suppose the trade-off is that I'm now constantly getting stopped for autographs while out on patrol. Not ideal, if you ask me. <laughs> well, you were one of the leading roles after all. So, did something happen? Indeed it did. I'll need you to come with me. <laughs> I only ever hear that phrase from you. Usually I'm the one asking people to do that. Well, are you coming? Not before I know what you're planning. Have I ever made a bad call? The better question is, have you ever made one that didn't violate proper procedure? <sighs> They okay. want us to like Paimon, you know. They friends. want to force it. <laughs> I'm about to go teach him a lesson. Are you sure this is something Paimon is okay, but she has some it's getting hard to tell whether you're here to report irritating lines, okay? Someone. Some irritating Neither. lines. I'm requesting personal supervision from said captain. Paimon is Paimon. So I don't yeah. do anything too out of line. So, this is just so stupid. To? I'm glad that Not they help it. dropped it out of the game, you know. Possibly, right. I hope that they person? did. Follow me. 
follow you. Why do you Just always promise you'll start trying to keep yourself out of trouble? Well, when trouble stops coming my way, I'll be sure to get on that. Okay. This should be the place. You all wait here. I'll go have a I know that she has a YouTube channel, you. yes. I you watched know, her. And she's actually a wonderful person. Honestly. We got to know each other it was great well on her stream and a few of a her videos. I think that she has videos. Sort of or maybe I watched the other but streams, I don't know. Anyways. It, it, it was it was mutual. it was great on her Special stream. Patrol needs her help quite often as well. We've got tough problems of our own. Getting people to talk, for example. Yes. The uniform, the musket, Definitely the most lines in Genshin. The Definitely. Lips sealed so tight, getting them to talk almost feels like trying to break into the fortress of Meripede. But put them in a clothing boutique, and they suddenly start gushing faster than the waters at the Fountain of Lucene. Because they're trying to show off or something. Probably. Yep. People are vain creatures. They can't help but want to talk up new developments in their lives or show off how much they know about other people. And nothing brings out that sort of vanity quite like fashion. As a result, Shiori often picks up on all kinds of information in her shop. Most of her customers are members of the upper class, which means they're pretty much up to the gills in wealth and intel. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Huh, Paimon gets it now? Exactly. I'm also here to ensure Chiori's safety. Those who make trouble for her also tend to be rich and powerful. And in some very rare cases, I'm forced to protect other people from Chiori herself. <laughs> <sighs> so, who got on her case this time? Yes. It's been a while since I last saw her that angry. Oh, so this is what happened. Waiting, huh? waiting, and waiting. Care, you say? Oh, finally. You've heard of him? Yep. He's made trouble for Chiori several times already. He's fond of pretty much every dirty trick in the book. I heard that even the Maison Guardianage issued him a warning due to his behavior. So hmm. he's back at it, huh? His funeral, I guess. Whoa, what's this about a funeral all of a sudden? I just meant that Uter's done for. She's had but enough. I need to get right up close. Uh, sure, but why? Because this is probably going to turn into one of those very rare cases I just talked about. <laughs> <laughs> and he will now say I didn't do it. What are you doing? Stay away from me. Has anyone ever taught you the definition of stupidity? Huh? Stupidity <laughs> is doing the same meaningless thing over and over again. It appears you've forgotten what I told you before. So, allow me to refresh your memory. Lay off the dirty tricks. <coughs> oh, and if you dare lay your hands on my friend again, you can expect a far less pleasant landing next time. Ahem, <coughs> Chiori. <laughs> <laughs> officer, an assault's in progress. Please, officer, you've got to do something. Of course. I'll do my utmost to investigate the situation. Unfortunately, I was chatting with this traveler and seemed to have missed what happened. Not to worry, though. If you'd allow me to search the scene, I'm sure I'll be able to collect some useful evidence. You don't mind, do you? There's nothing in there that would implicate you in any illegal activity, I would hope. I... <laughs> yeah, forget it. It wasn't that big of a deal. Ms. Chiori. I must also ask you to refrain from engaging in such disorderly conduct in the future. Especially out in the open like this. <sighs> Apologies, officer. I guess you could say I'm just Ito used to and dumping out any trash I come across on the street. That would end interestingly. 
Is there anything else either of you have to say but for yourself? But Raiden A, because she she's actually also a wonderful person. Will never they made again. her personality we'll so nice. That. I think that Ito and Raiden A would actually Whoa, bond very well. You're too kind. Yeah, and you launched him greatly. <laughs> what happened to not doing anything too out of line? Oh, not if I could help it, is what I said. And I think I kept to that. I started with a verbal warning, but he displayed neither shame nor remorse. If anything, he kept running his mouth with insults and threats. Insults and threats so bad that he deserved to be tossed out like a I sack know of she trash? said who, but. <laughs> Believe it or not. They were that bad. He deserved but to get knocked if down they a meet up, the you know, get him to stop. I think you could have reported him to the guards. I think it would oh, be a great story. But it'll take some time for them to gather evidence. And he denied that because he she's so nice and he's parents. just energetic. I don't want anything else to and happen. And that combination On top of would that, be. Going to I think it would be the least great I can do is guarantee her safety. when they combine it. And then you need to go and fight someone oh, with all of them. Me. I think it's going to be is another awesome like story. Hmm, what a shame. I believe you've already used up your favor quota for the day. Have I? Well, it's a good thing I was planning on taking an advance on tomorrow's quota then. Don't you think you're maxed out on advances already? I always pay you back in information, don't I? It's just like you said. You scratch my back? And I scratch yours. All right. Um, why is it over there? But I need to go up. Uh, I hate when they make me run all the time. I already said if you just made the black screen for two seconds and skipped absolutely everything so I don't have to run, it would have been much better for We're the back. story. You see, you're walking together. Uh, and you were gone for an awfully long time. Oh, please tell me nothing bad happened. There's nothing to worry about. All you need to know is that you'll never have to worry about someone in Fontaine messing with your deliveries again. Uh, sorry, Chiori. I oh, it's when the thunder so begins. What I know, I know, about? I know the, the voice line, you yes. You didn't do anything wrong. Those greedy bandits are to blame. Along with a certain someone who doesn't know when to lay out the petty tricks. The next time you need to leave the city, call the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. They'll escort you half of the way. And the Spina di Rasula can take the second half. With that sort of escort, the next time you make a delivery, those treasure hoarders won't go anywhere near your goods. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's to offer to carry them for you. <laughs> uh, good one, Chiori. Hmm. I'm being serious. You know me. If I bring something up, you can assume it's already a done deal. You're going back to Inazuma tomorrow, right? To Inazuma? I don't know how you know far me. is it. I've already spoken to the captain of the special patrol. As discussed, the patrol is going to take a small detour during their daily it's training It's so tomorrow. far away. As Come Kalia, on. I'll give her a heads up in a bit. There's really no need. I'm just a simple courier. I don't need to be surrounded by a bunch of armed guards. Or ones with sunglasses for that matter. Yeah, kind of crazy, both, both of them, much? yes. Well, you certainly shouldn't count on such a procession for every trip you make to Fontaine. Kujasara is kind of, you know... For my own piece Straightforward. Of It'll also you will not guys. escape. I will take you down, hands. and that's it. Since she's already talked to the patrol, just think of it as a yo. <laughs> Why is this going to repeat so many times in this quest? Just think of it as you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours type of situation. Why do you need to repeat it so many yes. times? Well put. Well, if you think it's a good idea, traveler, then I guess it's fine. And yeah, you will believe well, me, but you will not believe the person you're working for. Everything should be 
Good to go for I would right? say for years and so. years and you just I'll met me and you will believe me but not that days. person. Great. I've heard a lot of suppliers will be participating this year. Pilot's gonna take a guess and say suppliers are super important. But of course, they supply us designers with funding, equipment, Welcome so. Access. You have to work with them if you want to become a truly renowned fashion house. That's also why Thank you, thank you. <laughs> But isn't your brand I wasn't thinking really about stopping you? anyways, so your yeah. <laughs> so nice we are wear. close to 500, that's, to that's great, that chance. is great. Even so, I would imagine we are close to that, that's halfway to yes. 1k, but hey, well, we have few things unlocked and I mean, 500. With the amount of places that I deliver to, it's only natural that some people from other nations haven't heard of it. Then it's still not famous enough. My Without teleports to from Fontaine to Inazuma. All of it? Uh, it hurts here, just then. just by thinking about that. Would that mean I could just go to any Chioria branch on the continent to get my clothes fixed? It has been pretty inconvenient having to come to Fontaine every time I need to get them patched up. Alternatively, of course, you could just be a bit more careful with them. They're already about as durable as I can make them. <laughs> Okay, I'll admit, they do get snagged on branches pretty often, but I can't help it. It's hard to be careful about that sort of thing when you're trying to take a nice nap in a tree. Well, if that's your dream, Chiori, then we should do our best to make it a reality. Is there anything we can do to help out with Fashion Week? Hmm. I'm sure I could think of something. Ooh, what is it? What is it? I need to Why find my, my sister. Tomorrow? Why would I help for the Fashion Sit Week? You'll serve as my living man. Uh. Oh, so we get to try on some of your clothes? Got it! Outfit. New so outfit, you know please. Give new outfit. Give me new outfit. The and the of the designs. I hope that in 4.8 or 5.0 we are going to get new outfit and Chiori is going to give us that outfit because she made it for us. And just before Natlan we get new version of our traveler um do you need us for the runway too and can we keep the outfit can we keep the outfits Most of the clothes you see during fashion week are meant to showcase the designer's vision but they're not exactly suitable for ready-to-wear use if you like them though feel free to visit the boutique and see if anything catches your eye i'll even give you a special discount I want to keep it. I was just starting to get curious about all this design stuff. Then we have a deal. You'll model some formal wear, traveler. And I don't know. Paimon here will show off some kids' designs. I'll see you both tomorrow then. Yep, sounds good. Wait. Kid clothes? Paimon told you already she's not a little kid. But you look like a kid. Alright, nice, 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 nice. The first part of the quest is finished. It actually it actually ended quite fast. Uh, was it 8 to 10 or 10 to 12? Uh, I don't even look at the time I need to skip to. I never look at it. And okay, uh, uh, it was correct. Nice. <laughs> all the endeavors of the people of Fontaine. Let's see the outfits. Give me one outfit. <laughs> There's no outfit. Uh, you're here early. I haven't even opened the shop yet. It's eight twenty. Yep, with the special patrol. Bright and early. Did everything go alright on the road? I believe so. The patrol makes for quite the entourage. The way they marched forward with Kirawa in the center, you'd think she was some sort of VIP. For the second leg, the Spina also came with a pretty large group, led by Navia herself. They took care to clear the path beforehand as well. Kirawa won't so much as step on a single stray rock on her journey. I even heard that Navia decided out of the blue to make a batch of macarons as a going away gift for Kirara. An excellent souvenir to remember Fontaine by, I'd say. 
Sounds like Nadia really got into it. Yep. My thoughts exactly. She even lamented the fact that she didn't have time to prepare something even fancier. I'm pretty sure she can't wait for another escort opportunity to come her way. You know, now that you mention Nadia, Paimon thinks the two of you are actually pretty similar. You say what you mean, and when you have an idea, you really hit the ground running. I suppose that's why we're such good friends. Nadia has a certain resilience about her. It's part of who she is. No matter what comes her way, she never bows down in the face of adversity. That sort of determination and courage is something I really admire. That same spirit is the true vision of my brand. When she first mentioned commissioning an outfit for my boutique, well, I'm sure you can imagine my excitement. It's like finding the perfect brand ambassador, huh? Indeed. Customers pay attention not just to the clothes, but also to the figures in society who wear said clothes. People like to copy the styles of those they look up to. Oh, we have two outfits. Three, four. Oh, but it's all, all for women. It's nothing for Aether. Especially if you've got your sights set on a market the size of that. Well, would you look at the time? Oh, yeah. Come on, let's get down to business. We're here to model. Indeed. Give me a moment while I go retrieve some fabrics and sample outfits. Oh, finally what some you? male outfits. I'll set up the shop displays <laughs> in the meantime. Set them up? Uh, how exactly? Just carefully organize the ready-to-wear clothes with an eye toward their types and styles. This way, we can guarantee that the customers will see something different every day. Oh, there sure is a lot that goes into running a store. Well then, I'll leave the displays to you. So, uh, we just need to put all the clothes with similar styles together, right? Um... Uh, what? Oh... Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. I was like, what am I even going to put here? Why am I putting anything if we have two of them already? I, I was so confused. <laughs> Not bad. You might just have an eye for design. Not bad. I mean, you can't. Let's move on to the real task at hand. You can't actually make it wrong. I'll take your measurements first. You can't miss on putting the correct ones. Um, excuse me, Miss Chiori. Oh, good morning, Rianne. How have you been recently? Uh, not too bad. Your gown will be ready next week, so there's no need to worry about missing the ball. Or did you come here today because you'd like to make a new request, perhaps? Oh, no, nothing like that, Miss Chiori. To be honest, I came here today to cancel my order for that gown. Um. Uh, cancel your order? Uh, but you can keep the deposit, of course. I know you can't return any materials you've already used. Don't worry about the materials. I'm more concerned about you. Did something happen, Leanne? Have your plans changed? Um... Just speak up! It's all right. I'm not trying to make things difficult for you. I'll take note of the cancellation. Thank you. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. Just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Kyori is really nice person. Is it just Paimon or was she acting a bit strange just now? I wonder why she wouldn't tell us why she was canceling her order. Don't point deal. your These nose where it doesn't tomorrow. belong. A family emergency, an important payday falling through, a <sighs> lover's quarrel, no one to take you to the ball. I've pretty much heard it all. Judging from the look on her face, something's keeping her from revealing the truth to us. It's best not to pry. Well, guess this means you'll have more Correct. time to the week, right? Pyman, not just true. stop Come, let's with pick your big nose. Is Miss Chiori in? 
Well, you're looking at her. Uh, how can I help you? Um, I'd like to return this item. Oh, could I ask why? It's just, um, not to my liking. You said I could get a refund if I wasn't satisfied, so that's why I'm here. Hmm. Is there something about it that didn't meet your expectations? Are the sleeves too short, or is the color too dark? I can always make those adjustments for you. No, no need. You don't have to concern yourself with that. I'd just like that refund, please. And I'd be happy to process that for you. If you could just tell me the cause of your dissatisfaction. Yeah. If here, I'd like to return my outfit. Another one? Is there some sort of new calamity coming that I haven't heard about? Another flood? Or an apocalypse, maybe? What does the prophecy say this time? You'll be spared if you get rid of all your clothes. <laughs> Surely the entire population of Fontaine didn't convene and pick this one day to come and return my clothes. What is going on? Uh, huh. What kind of rags are you trying to sell us, huh? The way I see it, this shop is nothing more than a black market front run by a bunch of dirty criminals. Please calm down, sir. Uh, what is he talking about? Haven't you heard? Shioria Boutique has been exposed for having close ties with criminals. It's all over the papers. And just who is it that dares to throw that accusation around? Well, you tell us. The fabrics you've got here, they're all sourced from underground factories, aren't they? I've been no. transparent about my materials from the very beginning. I've already proved there's nothing wrong with them. If a little hearsay and baseless slander are enough to convince you, then by all means, go ahead and hand over your garments right now. Spare yourself from that flood of yours. Or have you not been given You think that that is going there? to help? You. A rock! Miss Tiori? Go outside and help these customers with their return requests. There's no need to ask them why. We'll refund them at the purchase price. Uh, all right. And oh once you're done, God. put up the sign that says we're closed for the day. Got it. Hmm. Tiori. These rumors they could are be not more true. If you tried. No need to worry about them. I'm sure they'll go away on their own in a few days. The real goal here is to divert my attention away from fashion week. The best response right now is to tune it out and focus on finalizing my designs. If you say so, but Paimon still can't help but worry. The best way to respond to public skepticism is to let your work speak for itself. There will be no doubt about the quality of my work once my new designs are released. The public just has to see it for themselves. Miss Yuri, bad news! Oh, for the love of... Can a woman not get a moment of pace to do her work? Go on. What's the matter now? It's our accessories supplier. They just sent word that they'll no longer be able to supply us during Fashion Week. What? Uh, no accessories? Not even the ones we pre-ordered? Yes, that's what their messenger said. And what about the models we asked them to book for us? I think they'll probably pull out as well. Even the suppliers believe those nasty rumors? <sighs> Is the messenger still here? No, they've already left. So, no accessories means no brooches, no bow ties, things like that? Not just that. It means no gems, ribbons, gold thread. All the elements that lend life and soul to my designs. But... If you take those away, does that mean you won't be able to make your designs at all? Aloth, you stay Selling in phones shop. in Teyvat, really? Talk to the supplier myself. We are going with you. Yeah, and we can vouch for you too. We'll make sure your supplier knows there's nothing wrong with your clothes. Thank you. In that case, please come with me. Please come with me and then they are not going to skip anything. Great. Okay. Alright.
I bet not so far. It's funny how when you jump down and lose HP with your Nevillet, you immediately get that one stack like you are in the battle. I mean, the C1 activates, you know. Of course. I wouldn't do anything to one of my business partners, especially when a reasonable conversation should suffice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's say I believe you, but I don't. Who is it? Venger, it's Chiori. <laughs> <laughs> we were Maybe, all yeah. Those years. Maybe that one is going to be the best. <laughs> Straightforward as always, I see. You know, there are certain conventions people usually follow if they want to seek someone's company. Sending a messenger, for example. And when has following convention ever gotten me anywhere? Why hire a messenger when I can just explain things in person? Yeah, right. Have you read the papers today? Nope. I don't like to waste my time on baseless lies and speculation. Maybe. True. 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 You're right. I only subscribe. I'm sad to that I didn't pull for Chiori just because of this line. <laughs> so, these rumors. The Steambird was the one that published them. No, not at all. They were in some second-rate fashion tabloids. Well then, there you go. Those sort of headlines become old news faster than you can read them. Surely a bit of tabloid drama isn't worth cutting off my supply. <sighs> you would think that. But this time is different. Someone paid off the tabloids to publish the same article at once. They even went so far as to leave a copy in front of every house. That's how I first learned of the rumors. Every house? That means someone must have been planning this for a really long time. again trying something. It seems your rival really pulled out all the stops this time, Shiori. The article was even published alongside a photo of you. What sort Great. of photo? Uh, a photo of you beating up someone on the street yesterday. Ah! <laughs> yesterday? Wait, that means... Wow. Chair again. Here, I've got a copy. See for yourselves. <laughs> Only leaving your number. Great. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to read it. I want to see the picture. Behind the scenes, the true Chioria boutique takes shape. Not a fashion house, but a house of lies. Relying on its close ties to the criminal underworld, the Chioria brand employs illegal competitive tactics to come out on top, giving hope to the evildoers among us that wrongdoing can still prevail, provided you conceal it under the guise of fashion and beauty. The sound of the game? I don't know what happened, and I don't want to comment on things that I didn't see with my own eyes. Still... That photo shows you to be the clear aggressor. But Uther harassed Chiori first. He even hired some goons to attack her courier. Yeah, he was the one who started it, that little... I appreciate you standing up for me, Paimon. Is the but sound of helping. game low? Am That's I right. too loud the this time? Public opinion I mean this time for the last right. few streams, Still, probably. I've got to give your rival high marks for effort. They even dug up the fact that my father once served time in the fortress of Meripede. But that was so long ago. In the world and it of fashion, doesn't have anything to do like with you. It's a piece of clothing stained with mud. Once tainted, it can never be washed clean. They claim that most of your clientele are criminals and that those who buy your clothes are just like you. People who silence all dissent with violence. The absurdity. I don't even know which part to laugh at the most. Well, it's no laughing matter. Maybe your clientele are criminals. Maybe they're not. 
there's even a possibility that they're just people who happen to commit crimes after buying your clothes. Naruto, but is the, the game sound too low? To Am I too loud? Trying to determine the truth is practically an exercise of futility. It's not something people are just going to forget about in a day or two. Especially when they've found several people to back up their claims. Vendor, are you sure you won't reconsider? If we go through with the show together, we can defeat them fair and square. <laughs> if I were younger, I might have said yes. But I'm no longer that brave young man with nothing to lose. I've got the family business to consider now. I'd be perfectly happy to work with you again after this. But my daughter is manning the store during Fashion Week. And I don't want her implicated in all of this. She doesn't deserve to be swarmed by all that negative publicity. I... understand. Let me offer you a piece of advice, Chiori. For old time's sake. Let this Fashion Week go. There's always next year. You just need to wait for all of this to blow over. You're free to wait things out, Bender. I'll make my own choices. <laughs> Have you ever thought maybe that attitude of yours is what's gotten you into all this trouble? Have you ever thought maybe this attitude of mine is precisely what paved the way for my success? Well, uh, both of enough. that is true. Then I <laughs> suppose all there's left to say is... Best of luck. As for the models... None of them wanted to be implicated in all of this either. Understood. Take care. <sighs> so, um, what should we do now? Without the accessories, I can no longer use my old designs. I, how could they do this? They're making things up. The boutique doesn't have anything to do with violent criminals. Can't people tell this is just a bunch of lies? Public opinion has never been about what's true and what's not. It's about echoing the loudest voice in the room. <sighs> I should have seen it from the beginning. Uter knows me too well. Everything that happened yesterday was just a trap. Well, yeah, probably. Guess all we can do is just head back for now. <laughs> oh! Traveler! Paimon! Charlotte, what are you doing here? Looking for you, of course. Did you see those fashion tabloids this morning? Nope. You mean that sorry excuse for an article? Just I mean, we did Paimon read it, but oil. we didn't see the picture. Too, huh? Whoever wrote that article must have known the Steambird would never print something so defamatory. Unfortunately, not all papers in Fontaine share our same sense of journalistic integrity. Miss Chiori doesn't deserve to suffer all this baseless slander. I was just about to find some people to interview so that I can write an article to refute all those claims. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's people who misrepresent and distort the facts. That's great! With your help, we might be able to get some people back on our side! They could remodel the whole Chiori several times. Paimon, I know you she's know. Not the kind of person that article makes her out to be. And she, she would actually look much better camera. and a Verite. little bit older because it's already three Speaking years Chiori, that we have this game, so told me you were all change together. just a little bit. Uh, she was just here. Uh, maybe she went over there? Let's go check. Yeah, let's go and check. Before we do that, um, you didn't answer me, but I guess that we are going to do it like this i hope it's if you ask me a little bit better now Chioria boutique is done for i mean what did they expect engaging with criminals behind their customers backs they kept up a solid front though i've even bought from them before really how was it the owner was plenty fierce that's for sure makes sense if she regularly deals with criminals i guess I've got the chills just thinking about it. Uh, come on, you're making it up. Oh, she no, went back to boutique. Uh, did you hear what 
what all those people were saying? Oh, Paimon can't believe they bought all that nonsense! Miss Chiori doesn't often appear in public or give a lot of interviews, so the general public hasn't had a chance to really get to know her. It's also true that her way of dealing with things can be a little... extreme sometimes. It's easy to use that to mislead people who don't know anything else about her. Oh, this is all Lucare's fault! Paimon would pick him up and throw him across the room too if she could! Wait a second. If she could, yes. You don't think Chiori might have gone looking for him, do you? You know, so she can, uh, finish what she started? <laughs> that would only make the situation worse for her. I'm sure Miss Chiori knows that too. I'm not so sure. You've got a point. Let's just return to the boutique and see if she's there then. <laughs> and look, we're back! Oh, who's this? Ah, oh, this is Miss Letitia. She's also here to see Miss Chiori. Came to collect the wedding dress yesterday, right? Wait, please don't say you're returning that dress too. Oh no, 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 not at all. I'm just here to thank her. In fact, if there's anything I can do to help her out, I'd be more than willing. Finally, ah, so you've come across one article person well. at least. Yeah, you probably don't know this, but after I got engaged, I didn't think I'd be able to wear a Chioria dress on my wedding day. Why? My fiancé owns a small business. It doesn't bring in a lot of mora, but we get by. After he proposed, he took me to Chioria Boutique, and we put down a custom order for a dress. He probably noticed how often I talked about Miss Chiori's clothes, and how pretty they were. Being able to wear one of her dresses to my wedding has always been my dream. And then? And then? Something happened to the business, and we ran into major Mora problems. We were able to scrounge up enough to pay off our debts, but it left us without the funds to pay for the dress. But didn't she already say I will give you Mora. Dress from what was left uh, I will earn it afterwards. Yes. When I came to cancel the order, she asked if something happened, and I told her everything. She heard me out, and then told me not to worry. She assured me that the deposit I paid would be enough for the dress. And that... And that she'd be able to finish making it in time as well. Yeah, I'm... Be able to wear kinda disappointed with the story quests day. as well. well that's I thing, thought that it? they will be... Much be more action, work. you know. It is good. It's just... I mean, After this I one at least is on point, you know. The dress and you have problem on. with one guy who is My trying to, to destroy your business, so he it, saw me, it's kind of on spot. point, you know. Uh, but it's he's not it's not even that slow. Wednesday. It's going, it's well, going kind of just as it should. He's seen a lot of the time, I think it's it's okay. So as soon as he saw it. I don't think sure that, that this one is too slow, but what we paid. for huh? Inas and Novelettes, so I think means... they were a little yeah. bit too slow, and, all the costs and held who else, back. who else? The fabric, the, uh, Tesli, eating, I thought that all the we will quality. get more fighting, huh. because Ratesli, right? I'd really like to use your story I thought that we will I'm get much more boutique. fighting scenes. Would you mind going on the record? Huh? <laughs> Well, if it would help Miss Chiori out, I wouldn't mind at all. I think it'd go a long way. Your real experience is more powerful than all those lies combined. Hey, Ayla, has Chiori come back here since we left? Huh? I thought you were all together. Okay, well, she didn't, so that, that, that's a bad thing, if definitely. If she come back here, then do you know of any other places she could have gone? Yes. Um... Oh, I remember now. There is this one cliff by the sea. Miss Chiori would always go there whenever she was upset. Oh. In that okay. case, why don't we split up? I'll continue interviewing Miss Letitia, and you two can go look for Miss Chiori. Yep. Right, let's go. Good. Let's go. And now we are going to fight with bandits. Hopefully. Six hundred meters away. 
Yay, yay, yay. Um, that is correct. That is correct. Unfortunately, although we care only about the Arkham quests, but unfortunately the story quests are becoming bad. And it's a little bit upsetting, but this one is this one is actually going fine. It's not too like slow. Hearing? It's it's not fast, you know. Uh, how did you know where but I hey. <laughs> I lost told you, didn't she? Yep. She did. We were just looking for you at the shop and Leticia was there. She wanted to thank you for the dress. So you see? You don't have to be sad. We'll figure out how to get through this together. Uh, I'm not upset. I just wanted to get some fresh air. Uh-huh. Well, like I believe you. <laughs> the view's quite stunning. Why not? It's pretty high up. It doesn't <laughs> look like there's a lot of space. Ah. Uh, sorry about that. But look I'm the how only here far. Most of the time. Uh, there's right, place for do. 10 people to sit. You see that there's enough space. And you can always use the plunge attack to avoid the death and damage well, and everything. How does it feel? <laughs> this place is pretty great. Yep, right? I agree. It's quiet and open. And far from the relentless critique from fashion commentators and the media. <sighs> it's just you and the beautiful scenery. Yeah, it's important to take yourself out of that kind of stressful environment every once in a while. <laughs> true. I didn't grow up in a very strict true, true, family. True. My parents would joke that I grew up to be so assertive because they spoiled me as a child. I would get together with the other children to climb trees and explore caves. One time, I even climbed over the walls of the Kamisato estate. I One believe the that they cannot make... Arlequino's story quest to be that. bad. Well, I really believe that they us. cannot make it be bad. Cannot make it be bad. I'm going to repeat it so many times because I don't see how they you know the can mess well, that up. You know, I cannot see. My parents noticed, and they sent me to study under a famous Inazuma tailor. And if they mess it, it up, I don't understand how could they. Mess it you up. could say I really tried their patience. You were that misbehaved? I wasn't misbehaved, exactly. I just often had strange ideas when it came to fashion. Ones that weren't in line with traditional ways of doing things. Oh. But on top of that, I hated the idea of groveling and making outfits for every arrogant big shot expecting me to be at their beck and call. Anyway, a few incidents later... I soon found myself without a master. Worse, not one shop was willing to hire me. Not even to do grunt work. No wonder you left Inazuma. I was angry and frustrated. So, before I left, I swore to all those masters that my brand would one day become renowned all over to that. Well, that's a great dream to strive towards. After that, I came all the way to the Court of Fontaine. A city often referred to as the capital of arts and fashion. I had a lot of fun starting out. Sure, I was living in a small cramped room, but I was finally free to make whatever I wanted. I had a far more naive view of fashion back then. As long as something was pretty, it would become popular, right? A simple concept, surely. Of course, as I spent more and more time in the industry, I learned nothing was ever that simple. Least of all, fashion. The first time Raiden came up... Uh, did she break the Zhongli's... Uh, I think that she did. When she came up and everything. And you can watch only by the trailer. Her trailer is actually... Uh, it's it's really nice. They they done a great job about the trailer. So I think it did go better than the Zhonglis one. I'm not really sure. I think that it is. 
I think that it is how it ended up being. But everyone was hyped about Raiden because you got the new DPS and she was the most powerful, so yeah. Um, well, I know someone who absolutely adored your designs. We just talked about that person when he, we came to you and dreamed of wearing one at her wedding. And you oh, know that person as Latisha. well. Yeah. Latisha, she yes. She did mention that dream. I'll be honest with you. That's the first time I ever heard something like that from one of my customers. Wow. I would have thought, even as I continue to pursue my dream, my work has also become someone else's. Someone else's? <sighs> All right. That's enough sightseeing for one day. Time to come up with a way out of this mess. Ooh, looks like you've got your game face back. Let's go. Back? I was never going to begin <laughs> with. I did say I wasn't upset, didn't I? I don't believe you. Should look for evidence that Uter wrote that article and that he hired those treasure hoarders to attack Kirara. Charlotte's already working on an article to address all those nasty rumors, so we can publish all our findings in the Steambird once we're done. I don't like duking it out in the press. <sighs> but if Charlotte's thrown her hat in the ring, I won't stop her either. <laughs> I know where Uter's clothing factory is located. It might be a good place to start looking for some evidence. Nice! Good. Oh, we are well, finally going to fight. Here, right? So there's no need to be too upset. Huh? When did this become an either or situation? Find incriminating evidence or participate in fashion week. <laughs> I'm doing both. Uh, but your accessories. Didn't you say your designs were unusable without them? Well, it's true that I haven't quite figured out what to do about that, but to tell you the truth, even here in Fontaine, Every time I see the sea, I can't help but remember Inazuma and the vow I made in front of those masters. Thinking about all that, I just can't bear to take even one step back. <sighs> the sea. Huh? What did you just say, Chiori? The sea. Seashells, coral. <laughs> I've got it. Uh, got what? Yeah, what? Come, let's take a dip, shall we? Okay. Uh, Chiori, wait, hold up! <laughs> hmm. Let's see what's gotten into her. Chiori, why did you just jump into the sea all of a sudden? Paimon. What do you think is the most beautiful thing in the sea? Uh... Um... A Lumi Twelve? Or a Pearl, maybe? Oh, Coral's pretty, too. Oh, Paimon gets it now! You want to use things like that as the accessories for your design! Well, now that you hit the nail Oops. on the head, help me grab some, would you? Leave it to us! Already done. It should be enough, right? Paimon picked all the prettiest ones in this area. Paimon, you picked it up. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> Everything no, looks Paimon right. collected I've absolutely also collected nothing. A pretty big batch, so we should have you zoom to me, please. Right. So are we gonna head back now and make some new designs? Yes, but don't forget, we've got more than just the designs to worry about when we get back. <laughs> okay, we've got the materials. For it the accessories. should be like Raiden Next. is pulling the sword we'll from her heart, so and her heart Maybe is start from scratch? infinity, you know. I should be able to make it if I skip out on sleep. Oh no, skipping out on sleep is not the answer. Wait, how come this conversation is giving Paimon major deja vu? Yeah, you. every time you say sleep, Paimon is going to fall asleep. That's a nice thing to know. You can use it more often. 
Um, sounds pretty similar to one we've had with Kanyu before. That's so long ago. I guess going after what you want means making certain sacrifices. Well, anyway, sleep is important. You're not gonna convince Paimon otherwise. <laughs> well, I can't argue with you there. One thing's for sure, though. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it work. <laughs> All this grit and determination. It reminds me of the first there are many, I ever participated in. There are many um, posts about Aether uh, and all of the we'll other I suppose all female characters is. that are in the Tear game. The and I was laughing just it? so no, hard please. when I saw everything. You heard me. Tear them all up. When I went to that first fashion week, I had no savings to speak of. Just a few dozen yards of fabric in a dream. I had to make something work, so I tore up all the clothes that I brought with me from Inazuma, and I used the scraps to make my entries for the show. I used the larger pieces for the base fabric, and the smaller pieces for accessories. If it worked back then, why not now? We can also repurpose some of the ready-to-use accessories in the shop as well. But you worked so hard on all these outfits! I know. But That's hard is cards not cards enough. I'm not going to let them win, even if it takes everything I've ever made and more. Um, okay, then... here goes nothing. No need to be nervous, I won't hold it against you. Of course, if anyone dared to tear up one of my dresses in front of me on a normal day, I'd probably toss them into the sewer. <laughs> Just this once, though. I think I can make an exception. Go ahead and tear them up. Think of it as a good way to vent your emotions. I could have good used job. that outfit. That should do it. Not this disgusting Shuri, one that I have right? at the moment. Sorry for taking so long. I got caught up and... Whoa. What happened to your shop? Who did this? Those monsters. Slandering you in the papers wasn't enough for them, was it? They even sent people to wreck your shop. Give me their names. Since they're all too eager to tear up other people's clothes, I think it's about time the Spina di Rosula returned the favor. Uh, maybe you should calm down a bit first, cause you Fighting see. with a friend in co-op, yeah, but they would need to change quite a lot if you are going to get the fighting and if you are getting a chance to make a fight with the pairing thing that we had in events few times then I guess that's going to be boring um, I was one who did it uh, boss please go easy on us uh, huh? <laughs> Oof, what is this a soap opera I was the one who asked the traveler to tear up the outfits. We need all the fabric and accessories we can get. Oh, <laughs> so that's what happened. <laughs> I guess I got a bit ahead of myself. Yeah, just now. I guess he is. <laughs> Back to what you were doing, everyone. You can all just pretend like I didn't say anything. Navia sure is scary when she's angry. <laughs> if there's one thing I can't stand, it's a false accusation. No one's gonna orchestrate some conspiracy to take down one of my friends and get away with it. That's Man, right. Chiori, you're really close. Of course. Everyone knows that Chiori makes the most gorgeous outfits in town. All of the Spina di Rosula's formal wear is custom tailored here. Now, if only you'd give me the contract for your uniforms as well. <laughs> <laughs> as if you'd enjoy designing something as boring and formulaic as a uniform. That's why I didn't ask you in the first place, silly. Plus, with how much your intel has helped us out in the past, to the Spina, you're more of an intelligence agency than a fashion boutique. If I had it my way, it would be the other way around. Anyway, we both know why I'm here. Tell me, how can the Spina be of service to you? If it's not too much trouble, can I borrow some skilled hands to help with some simple sewing work? I'll need all the help I can get if I'm going to finish these outfits over the next few days. Oh, no few problem. Days. I've got a few of those guys all ready to go. I 
just knew you wouldn't be intimidated into withdrawing from this year's show. When are you going to get started? I can help with sewing too. Well, Actually, no. There's something else I'd like to ask of you. Ask away. I'm all ears. Oh, and Traveler and Paimon, could you help me password to Linny and Lynette? I'll need their help as well. Wow. Gladly. I'm done with my interview. Has Miss Chiori made it back yet? Go! Oh! What happened to the boutique? Who did this? Give me names. I'll make sure every last one lands a full feature on the front page of the Steambird tomorrow. <laughs> Not this again. <laughs> you see, it's it's fine. It is fine. We need more scenes like this. We need more scenes like this. Okay, it's not that far away. And bam. Is this any faster than the normal running? I guess it is not. Jumping slows us down. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, we are going up. Okay, okay. It's the place where we met Freminet, so I guess all three of them are living there. And yeah, yeah where is Freminet? You'd have missed us. We read the article in the papers. We were just about to go find Miss Chiori. You're she helped design a number slow. of our costumes in the past and even sponsored one of our performances. The time has come, it seems, for us to return the favor. Oh, perfect! She was the one who sent us! <laughs> in that case, I assume that there's something we can do to help. Just say the word and we'll take care of it. Okay, so it's like this. Is that all we'll need to do? Should be a piece of cake for the two of us. I'm glad to hear it! Well then, guess it's about time we go and find some evidence for all the bad stuff who care has been doing, right? Yes. She always said we shouldn't disturb her over the next couple of days. We can check in with her again once she's done with all the new designs. But the show's in another two days, isn't it? Will she be able to make the deadline? Maybe. Well, according to her, she wants to first beat Uter fair and square at the show, and then defeat him in the court of public opinion. She's oh god, we will have like, another court uh, story thing. A two-pronged approach? Courtesy first, confrontation second? Uh, yeah, something like that. Understood. Then we'll have faith in her decision. We'll go make some preparations. See you at the venue in two days. All right, right two days? Oh, come on. So much skipping. Okay. Then let's also do as Chiori said, and meet up with her at Luther's factory in two days. We'll gather the evidence then. Oh, I'm unsure hope she won't have a hard time making all those new outfits for the show. Second part done, and we have the last one. Wait for two days. Uh, I hate that this thing is so slow in this game. Maybe I could... I can't stop it. Oh, come on. We are going at 6 a.m. Okay. Go to Uther's clothing factory? Why to his? Oh, it's downstairs. In the basement. I mean, yeah, Freminet is the first one that... You're here. Or like you know, found Jay, so. Where are the new outfits coming along? But uh, come on, if Chiori is making Just for Lynette and Lini, then the she's making for the Freminette as well. 
So all three of them oh, are getting the outfits. Are you sure she'll be okay without Kinda them? strange, you Don't know. worry. I have no intention of giving ground on either front. With the fashion show scheduled for tonight, Uter has closed his factory. This is our only chance to secure any incriminating evidence. Okay, Paimon totally gets that this is all his fault and he totally deserves it, but wouldn't we technically be trespassing on his property if we just barge in like this? Yes. His factory is usually open to the public. It may not be open for business right now, but that doesn't mean visitors can't stop by for a tour. Oh, wow. We're just curious customers after all, aren't we? Well, when you put it that way... <laughs> anyway, Uter's factory is right over there. Let's hurry up and get moving. Uh, why would he open a factory over there? Yeah, why? We have different marketing strategies. While I specialize in high-end custom garments, he prefers low prices and large sales volumes. Well, maybe the rent here is cheap. All right. Ooh, it's really creepy. Hyman would never choose to buy anything from a place like that. <laughs> you make a good point. Let's all be on our guard. Well, if they made him as strong in the game as he is in the trailer, maybe I would tell you differently, but he he really isn't strong. Okay, we are going to get Chiori, so we don't need to put Geo, she is going to be our Geo. She is actually so cool. Kinda want to pull for her, but I don't really need her, so uh, it was hard We're decision. In. There really is nobody here. Welcome, dear visitors. Ah! Oh, Paimon nearly fell out of the air. What is that thing? A mechanical guide. They usually use a recorded tape to give you a tour of the factory. Please follow me, dear guests. Okay. First stop on our tour is a look at the gradual evolution of our clothing brand. <laughs> clothing brand. It kind of does look cheap. Maybe. I don't know. After that, we welcome you to peruse our most popular styles. Huh. Most well, popular to be styles. Well for himself, doesn't he? Why would he feel the need to bother you when he could just focus on improving his own brand? This is the studio where our designs are made. Please take a look around at your leisure. Yep, this seems like Uter's workspace, all right. Let's see what we can find. Marketing is oh Okay, nothing important <laughs> All the designs and These are the fitting rooms, please use them at your leisure, huh? There seems to be something in this fitting room Uh why did the door just close? Hold on tight, Paimon. Ah! Oh, why, wow. why is it moving? He knew that we will come. Uh. <sighs> it seems to have stopped. Where did this thing take us? Seems like we're someplace deeper inside the factory. Okay, not really getting any damage from her because I don't have the supports. And probably they again put, I don't know, the wrong set. Let's see. Yeah, the... <sighs> Why do we even put Noblesse? Noblesse. 
At least the level, the weapon is level 90. Fontaine is living in 2024. Hmm. Well, this place is they are not really in 2024. I wouldn't say that. Seriously, not that far. Maybe 90s. Maybe. Not sure. Oh, Paimon can smell the stench from all the way over here. <laughs> <laughs> and I was the one using unsafe materials, Uter. So he was actually the one who opened an underground factory. No wonder his clothes always felt weird to the touch. Weird He's been using to the all touch. manner of tricks here in a bid to cut costs. Should, should the clothes made here even be worn? Never mind issues with shrinking and fading. These materials can give you skin problems if you wear them too often. That's terrifying! Let's take some photos right away as evidence. This way he won't be able to try and deny anything in court. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Yeah, I know that they Does have flying like robot, but here. follow me. Let's go up. Let's go up. Where up? Do you mean? What do you mean up? Oh, you mean this one? I forgot that her skill is doing that. <laughs> uh, okay. This place seems like some kind of warehouse. Ugh, and it stinks too. He wants to trip us in the factory. Seems like he knew we'd be coming. You yes. did say he knew you really well, didn't you? Yes. And that's because we used to be partners. Oh god. You're practically at each other's throats. Now you're telling us you used to work together? When I first came to Fontaine, we were both fledgling designers who longed to gain a foothold in the world of fashion. <laughs> We shared the same goal. Did you play so PUBG we as well? Or are you playing game, it? We both wanted to make clothes that would stand out from the crowd and shatter tradition. AWM kind of that would turn or AK. And leave people wow. Raw. But with every criticism we received and every sponsor that rejected us, Uter's confidence disappeared little by little. Finally, right before Fashion Week, he came to the conclusion that we wouldn't be able to make the designs we always dreamed of. And we parted ways. For my part. I gambled it all, and devoted everything I had to that one week. I came out the other side with something that really made me proud. I was nervous to present it, of course, but I knew it was my chance to show the industry what I was made of. In the end, well... You received the acclaim of all Fontaine while Uter gave up on his dream and turned to making this sketchy stuff. I don't know the exact details of what happened. She said after sketchy that. and down it is, was written after dodgy. I opened Chiora Boutique. He's harassed me every year since. 
Excuse me, what just happened? I mean, it's not the first time. I'm getting out of here first. It did happen already. But it wasn't Paimon, if I remember correctly. Let's see if any of those buttons do anything. Hmm. Oh, that doesn't seem to have done anything. Uh, maybe try the next one? Uh, didn't do anything either. Am I? Let the mighty be humble. Look over there. Uh, I did it a little bit too early, right? I need to wait for her skill again. Okay. I don't know what are you hitting, but fine. Okay. Whew. We finally made it out. I uh, maybe. Okay. Why does it feel like the movement patterns of those mechs have changed? Oh. Did I? I needed to go up, right? Oh. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I need your skill. And your skill is taking s such a long time. Oh, nice. Um, like this? Yeah. Welcome, Derek. I don't know, I, I didn't play Star Rail, so I honestly do not know. Okay, that's it. No more fighting, we are going to get the evidence to Charlotte and we are going to the Fashion Week to see who won it. I think that that's it. And now, Uther. Oh no, we will get these ones. Nice! Oh, those chambers couldn't hold you, I see. What a surprise. We've collected <laughs> a bunch of evidence on all the nasty stuff happening at your factory. You're not giving away this time, Uther. The evidence on your person, you mean? <laughs> what makes you think I have any intention of letting it get past these walls? Well, you have no choice, honestly. I have nobility in my team, so you're done. <laughs> More mechanical guards? Really? Ever thought about using these funds for a legitimate purpose? Too many purpose? shooting oh, games, it seems. A legitimate purpose. What? Destroying Chioria Boutique? Or continuing to make your rotten rags? 
Proving that fashion is merely a laughable farce. A carnival of ignorance! <laughs> you know what your problem is, Uter? You've become so obsessed with the concept of fashion itself that you let it paralyze you. Stop trying to cater to it. Focus on your own work, and you get to decide what fashion means. Spare me the lecture, why don't you? Sooner or later, you'll cater to all the voices too, you know. After all, what is fashion but another form of public opinion? Fashion I mean, is well, about that aspiring is true. towards a certain ideal. But that it's up to you true. to decide what it is. My brand caters to no one but myself and my vision. And in the real world, world fashion is just terrible honestly just terrible well once when i see those models in some silly outfits fall, come on understand how they look more stupid than is. than it That's looks good what you've been so. trying to prove all this time your jaded understanding of the industry is the reason you've had it out for my brand for so long you weren't like this before uter <laughs> What happened to the man who wanted to make something that would bring the entire world to its knees? He realized long ago how utterly naive and ridiculous that dream was. You gave up on your dream, but that wasn't enough, was it? You had to find a way to prove to yourself that it could never have been possible at all. You think you understand, but you're just a bitter man who let his regrets dictate his choices. You regret giving up on your dream so you stopped at nothing to prove to yourself that it wasn't the wrong choice this whole thing Uter it's pathetic. pathetic I agree why don't you take a look in the mirror you're a fool daydreaming about taking all of to that by storm well good luck doing that when even Fontaine doesn't have a place for you anymore <sighs> you think so you're right Maybe all those who pursue their dreams are fools. But more pitiful still are cowards who are too afraid to even attempt what the fool is brave enough to try. <laughs> you. Oh. Uh. Theory, you go first. You've got a show to catch, and I'll take care of these guys. Yeah, just leave this guy to us. No, you go instead. It'll be fine. Just go to the venue and tell everyone to proceed with the plan. I'll deal with him. Some lessons are best delivered in person. <laughs> All right, stay safe. Catch up with us soon. Trying to leave, are we? Nice. I've held back all this time because of our past partnership, Uter. <clears throat> but all that changed after our tour of your factory. <laughs> Still trying to talk tough, I see. No matter what you've been through, no matter why you've become like this, if I may borrow the words of a friend, a guy like you doesn't deserve my sympathy. <clears throat> Allow me to show you. The true meaning of the Chioria brand. Nice! Are we going to fight the Chioria, the Chioria brand represents more than a person or a trademark. Come on! It's a way of I'm life. Fight. <sighs> Greetings, friends at Fontaine Fashion Week. Please feast your eyes on the extravaganza that Chioria Boutique has prepared for you today. <laughs> Brilliant, dazzling, and wholly unique. And most importantly, an enduring, never say die spirit. That's the true meaning of the Chioria brand. <sighs> and now, let's welcome the thundering seamstress, Miss Chiori herself. <sighs> Did Chiori not? <sighs> oh. Let the show begin. The world may change. Fashion along with it. 
But Giorio will remain the same. No challenge is too great. Giorio caters to no one. Not even the times. Rather, Giorio will always lead the fashion of our time. Finally, let's not forget. Nice, not bad. But we still Only don't know what happened do not give in the up fight. On their dreams are worthy of this brand. Well then, I suppose all that's left to say is happy fashion week, fellow dreamers. to the left like this a little bit more to the Perfect. right oh i thought <laughs> uh. oh that looks great miss jury can i take a picture of course i didn't know you'd make a brand new signboard well it was the time to do it i made it before fashion week i figured it'd be best to put it up after the success of the show well how can you become renowned through all of Tevat without a fancy signboard of your own? The Spina's way ahead of you in that regard. <laughs> now that you mention it, perhaps our magic troop could use one of those. Hmm. <laughs> our signatures are the Grin Malkin Cat and the Boggle Cat Fox. Oh, and we need to add Pear as well. Pear would need an alias, of course. Hmm. How about. Ah, the Hangry Bird. Wow. Why? <laughs> so, does that mean your signboard is going to be two cats and a penguin stuffed into a single hat? Ooh, that sounds super snuggly and warm. And a bit cramped. <sighs> Miss Fury, oh. <laughs> I'm done taking pictures. You can expect the article and tomorrow's Steambird, along with the evidence the traveler gathered. Thank you, Charlotte. It's my pleasure. Bringing the truth to light is a journalist's duty. Going forward, feel free to custom order any accessories you need for Monsieur Verite. It's on the house. Huh? huh? You, you really need it? Of course. The same goes for you too, Linny and Lynette. If you have need of any costumes in the future, just drop me a note. What about something nice. other than a costume? Thank you, Chiori. It's much appreciated. Well, I don't really need anything. Just what don't be a stranger, else? Right? Come on, Lynette didn't I don't finish need it. Either. So long as you continue to request my international courier services from Comania Express, we're golden. Actually, that reminds me. When will you be leaving, Kirara? Huh? Um, about that. The Spina di Rosula has prepared a special vehicle for you, so you can just get in and we'll push it all the way out of Fontaine. <laughs> what? Oh, that's so embarrassing. Ooh, you eat something nice too. That was the whole line. It of was course. completely just different. Hold on a second. The whole Disrupting line was public completely order different. At the show. Appropriating venue lighting equipment without authorization. Using weaponry in public. Hosting a dangerous she performance said glad without to hear notifying the authorities. Tone, it's down for um, me. And Shiraz, we can explain. Oh God! If you come across anyone who matches those descriptions, the whole line was different. Please report them to the special patrol at your earliest convenience. Enjoyed that, didn't you? Why do I have to, you, really you know, pay attention if Says something who that stunt is not as it How should be? Me a favor and tell me in advance I should next really time stop doing that. Like that. <laughs> and if I had. Would you have approved? No, but it would have at least spared me a whole lot of anxiety. Well, I would say I more than made it up to you, have I not? A whole underground workshop in the Fluve Sandra, and a man responsible all tied up and handed to you on a silver platter. Sounds pretty thoughtful if you ask me. <laughs> all right, I won't argue with you. You can have this one. Well, friends, I would say we've earned ourselves a nice meal for our efforts. Let's go. Spina's treat. Yeah. I'll have to take a rain check. 
I've still got a lot of paperwork to take care of, so you all go have fun. Oh, by the way, Chiori, I ran into Vanger on the way here. He had a message for you. I don't need to hear it. I'm sure the old fool used pretty much every apology in the book. I'll just visit him some other day and give him a hard time about everything. <laughs> you know him well. Thanks again, Shelfress. My pleasure. Oh, and one last thing. That was really quite an amazing show. <laughs> you don't say. All right, all right. Uh, follow me if you want in on the celebration feast. Come on, we're leaving. Traveler, Paimon, could you go wait for me at that place with the view? I'll let Navia know that we'll be a little late. There's something I'd like to give you. A place with the view? Oh, Paimon knows where you mean. Sure, no problem. Perfect. I'll be right there. Why is it... Oh, God. We have so many little things to do. I thought it is going to be over by now, but it seems that it is not. Come on, Avalet. How can you even get stuck? Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, we didn't wait long at all. But what did you want to give us that you couldn't share right in front of everyone else? <sighs> Here, take this. New outfit? Oh, wow! A brooch! And okay, a okay, nice. At least something. <gasps> Wait, Paimon gets one as well? I've only made two for now. After Allergy that, problems? <laughs> I decided to give them to you two. Well, thank you. I'll take good care of You've it. You've been a great help. Even when things were looking bleak, you stayed by my side. There were even times when I felt like I had to fight back and win. Even if it was just to honor the trust that you had in me. Well, we may have helped a little, but Paimon would say you deserve most of the credit. This result, it was all you, Chiori. I know for certain that was not the case. I've chased my dream for so long that I've come to understand something. Apart from conviction and persistence, the thing that matters most is having friends who believe in you even when you don't believe in yourself. A single person nice. can only do so much. Without all your help, Chioria Boutique could have easily fallen to ruin. Well, Paimon doesn't think it would have ever gotten to that point. Not if you had anything to say about it. But, um, about the stuff you said at the show, you aren't worried it'll rub some people the wrong way? Perhaps my words were a little pretentious. But they do reflect how I truly feel. I won't bow or scrape before any force in this world, much less any individual. I'm confident in the quality of my work. Create something beautiful, and there will always be people who appreciate it. Well, guess there's nothing to worry about then. Should we go back and join them at the victory feast? Oh, yes, of course. But before that, I'd like to admire the view for just a little while longer. You know, of all the nights I've spent in Fontaine, I'd say this is the loveliest by far. Yay! Is that it? We are not going to go to the dinner. Yes, we are not going to go there. Okay. Well, ah, my although, this heavy please, Navelata, don't do it. Although we didn't have that much fighting, I would say almost no fighting. It still was a good story quest because it was just on point all the time, you know, just those two. Although the last part of the of the quest was a little bit slow, but everything else was okay, just okay. It wasn't good, it was just okay. It wasn't bad like the other ones, which are slow with no fighting and everything. It was okay because... 
when it comes to the time it takes, it, it's fine. And the story isn't... I can't say it's boring, it's just... It's not interesting because we all love fighting in this game, nothing else it seems. Um, but hey, we get to know Chiori as... Beautiful creatures. Never that, please, just shut up. We got to know Chiori as she is, and I'm glad that she is a nice person, just like Navia and Raiden A. So yeah, um, that's everything for today. I'm going to teleport to the point where I'm going to collect Mora, because I'm going to forget about it again. And yeah, that's going to be everything for today. I will see you probably tomorrow and we are probably going to do this Spiral Abyss because we don't have anything else to do until Arlequino comes and we get new Arkham quest not just the story quest so yeah until that point of time and that point of game when we unlock the last part of the Fontaine well we are finished for now and I will see you in those ones. Have a nice day.